Oh, look at all those leaves. Oh, this Branches. is so, so relaxing. And this actually reminds me of our next story, who one of our Access producers, her name is Marta. Mm -hmm. She met a local art instructor who runs a class solely on how, telling you how art is very therapeutic. That's and now I know exactly what he means. It's true. The top of the tree, the branches are much shorter. And as you come down, we're just going... Eight years ago, art instructor John LaFlock was approached to work with adult survivors of brain injury. It's a perfect fit, as John has extensive experience working with children with special needs and youth at risk. But working with people who find themselves diminished due to events beyond their control presents certain challenges. It's a fear of, of failure. That's the key. Is, and once you get past that, they just go, ah, it's just opened so many doors for them. All right, so here's our, our finished tree. Over the years, John has found that when students work individually on projects of their own choice, they tend to concentrate on their interests rather than focusing on their fears. Uh, well, if you thin it out, use water. I kind of tailor make each class to the individuals that are in it, and I find that works the best. Uh, the first class, I didn't think I, I could paint or draw, even sketch, but having John teach, it's like on a one-to-one. -one. And now the third class, and have a lot more confidence in, in uh, what I do because of John's skill in teaching. It's just fantastic. Look at him and break him down into things you know how to do. But I wanted to get into using art as uh, a way of helping people, uh, make things hopefully better and inspire some younger people and get them involved in the benefits of art. Because when you're using white over black, it's hard to do it in one coat. <laughs> it is, yeah. You're, you're. This may be an art class where students learn to draw and paint. But as Mary McKee, case manager of the Fraser Valley Brain Injury Association, explains, the impact of coming here goes much farther. I think the other thing that's very important for our programs is that they're all developed around the concept of connecting people back to community, back to their families, back to their interests. Because traumatic brain injury is a life-changing event. And those connections are so important because people with brain injuries tend to shy away and become isolated. It's uh, a way for them to express themselves, it's, it gives them something to do, it's, it's important that they can get feedback from people that, are, that appreciate the art, the, the art that they do. So it, it, it goes on and on and on. It's so beneficial and it's so underrated. It's clear that John has a huge passion for teaching. Ah, that's more like it. Yeah. So what's behind it? It looks good. It takes a while to build it up. You get this uh, positive feedback from people, and I think that's a huge part of it. In Abbotsford, I'm Marta Bellahutrak for Go on Shaw TV. Watercolor technique where we thin everything down. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put it over the base here.